I'm showing you exactly how to use Illumina Client for MCPE on Realms, which a lot of you guys have actually requested. And so to get started, you want to go ahead and download Illumina Client from their official website. This will be linked right down in the description below. Here you want to simply click on this download button, and that is going to bring you over to their GitHub page. You'll notice the latest release over here marked with this green. Simply scroll down a tiny bit and then click on the app-release.apk, and you can just save it to your downloads. Now, as you can see in my downloads, I do have uh, the Illumina client right over here. I can simply click on this and then click on install and it's going to just install really quickly. Once it's been installed, we can simply open up the app by clicking on it over here. Now, sadly, the owners have actually added um, a link for Ty's authentication, which kind of sucks. So the first time you open up the app, you're going to be brought to this page right over here. You want to click on the get link and then what's going to happen is you'll be brought over here. Here, click on the skip button, then click on the direct access free, and then click on continue. And just like that, you'll be brought through right over here. Click on the orange open button and your authentication will be successful. And it'll automatically go ahead and open that up in the Illumina client app. Yes, this authentication sucks. Luckily, there is no 60 minute wait times. If you're unhappy about this, then go harass the client owners in their Discord server. Anyways, uh, for accessing on Realms, we want to click on Mobile Client right over here. Then you will need allowed permission. And here we are. I've joined servers a bunch of times on Luna, um, Lumina before. You guys will know that I've done that. If you want a tutorial on that, I'll link it in the description. But today we're going to be focusing on Realms over here. So to access Realms, you want to head over to this Realms tab over here on the top of the client and then it'll say disconnected over here and we need to click on this web login button where you will need to authenticate your Microsoft account. This is just simply so that they know what realms you have and, this, and so that they can proxy the correct account to the correct realms. Quite simple. Anyways, as you can see, my connection has been successful. So I can then head back over to the home tab over here and then I can go to this realms section. As you can see, I have three realms right over here. I've got the Shader YT Anarchy, my own Anarchy realm, and this realm called America. I just randomly added it because I needed a realm to showcase this on. It's an Anarchy realm. I guess I'll link the code in the description for credits or something. And you can just fetch your realms over here if you don't see all of them. You might need to do that the first time you load in. Anyways, the rest of you guys will know about this app. We have the servers over here, the packs over here as well that you can add. This should also work with the realms, but you also actually still need to link your account over here as well. This is not for the realms, but just for the general proxy. And bam, now I have also linked my account over here. You might be a little confused as to why you need to link your account twice. And to be honest, I also am, kind of. But Lumina Client is open source. You can check out their source code. It's... I can't confirm it is safe. Maybe the devs just have a skill issue. Just kidding. I love you devs. Uh, so basically in the realms over here, we can now select the realm we want to join. I already had it selected. So as you can see, instead of for these servers, it's giving you like 2b2tpe.org or whatever. For the realms, it'll give you a direct IP address right over here. Once you're also in this situation with everything nice and, well, not red, I guess, we can click on start over here and the Illumina Relay will connect. Th that's also actually going to automatically open up Minecraft for you, which is very convenient. So Minecraft has been kind of random with the LAN worlds recently. Sometimes they might show up next to your worlds over here. Um, but in my case, it is actually listed under servers over here. Under other servers, we can see Lumina client right here. If you see this as well, then this is the one you want to join. Click on play. So this is not through the actual realms menu. And the reason that is the case is because we are actually proxying through Lumina to the realm. It even gave me a little notification. Uh, welcome to America of uh, Lumina proxy connected. So that was nice. Anyways, I mean, it isn't a real anarchy realm, I guess, if the spawn doesn't look like this. So very nice looking fantastic. I hope I don't die immediately, uh, but to be honest, there's no reason for anyone to kill me. So basically over here, we can click on the little Lumina overlay, which you guys will have seen. You can drag this around to anywhere on your screen. Maybe I'll leave it here so it's a little easier for you guys to see. It was kind of blending in. But here in this home menu, it just works exactly as Lumina Client does. 
I have made a full usage tutorial on this. I'll link it in the description if you guys want to check it out. For right now, I'll just show you how to get started. So basically, we can view a bunch of information about the world here. Or in this case, about the realm, we can view all the online players. We have these tabs here with different utilities we can use inside of Lumina Client. And you can see there is a whole bunch. Even in the bottom here, we have a configuration manager, which is quite useful. You can just save your setup, stuff like that. Anyways, for these utilities, we can simply head into the settings cogs over here and you can customize them however you want to. Really convenient on mobile. We have these nice large sliders. Basically, we can click on them to turn them on uh, just like that. As you can see, this is now being enabled. We can see that by the little blue highlight on the side over there. Clicking it once again to turn it off. Anyways, actually inside of this menu, you can also turn on a shortcut. And what that does is we now have a shortcut for this on our screen over here. And so you can just tap that to turn it on and turn it off, which is a lot more convenient. I recommend doing this with utilities that you use often. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm kind of scared of this realm. If you guys have any questions or anything of the like, any problems with this, then do let me know down in the comments below. For right now though, I guess this was basically this. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I do of course hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.